Our moon is waxing, it's increasing in light. How are you feeling? The full moon will arrive on April 23rd, just before 7 p.m. Central Time. This month brings a full moon in the Vedic sign of Libra. Now, Libra is an energy that's very diplomatic, it's beauty-loving, it's relationship-oriented. But the section of Libra where our full moon will reside is in a section or nakshatra, lunar mansion, called Swati. Now, Swati is an energy that has the Shakti or the power to be as free as the wind. The energy behind Swati is freedom. It wants to move, it wants to be free, and it has the gift of scattering like the wind, right? You know, and it, it gives me this feeling of a dandelion after it's gone to seed and you can blow on the seeds and the seeds blow and float within the wind. That's like the energy of Swati. This energy is also symbolized as a fresh plant sprout. Now the fresh plant sprout, in order for it to grow and to grow strong and really steady and stable, and has to blow in the wind. So this small plant shoot that blows in the wind is a representation of Swati. That means that within this energy, the beginning of projects sometimes have some challenges because in order for you to grow like Swati, you have to blow in the wind and you have to really strengthen your foundation and make sure that your focus and your intentions are very clear. Now, this comes right before the very end of Mercury retrograde. So Mercury has been retrograde and the Vedic sign of Pisces. Now, when Mercury is in Pisces, it's challenged because Mercury is very communicative and analytical and communication oriented, but Pisces is one that's very unconscious. It's dreamy and imaginative. And so when Mercury is within that sign of Pisces, it is a little bit challenged. And then that's been really exacerbated with Mercury retrograde. Well, Mercury will come to its stationary period right as our full moon arrives. And what that means is that in order for Mercury to pause and go direct again, it comes to its stationary place. And a stationary planet is actually very strong. So this combination of uh, Mercury stationing before it goes direct with the power of the full moon, that light of the full moon is very strong. It means that it's a beautiful time for you to get very clear and to use your words with power. It's almost as if your words become a magic spell right? It's like your command. So for this full moon, it's a time for you to allow your mind to open, to, to go as free as the wind, go really, really big, and then use the words as your power because a stationary mercury gives power to your words. So write down your intentions or speak them out loud and keep them alive. We also have Mars who moved into the Vedic sign of Pisces. And Mars in Pisces is a very intense energy. Mars is fiery and it's inside of the watery, dreamy realm of Pisces. This means that that fire of Mars comes into the water. It gets a little steamy. And I'll keep talking about Pisces because we actually have a lot of planets there right now. We also have Venus and Rahu both in Pisces as well. So what this means is that there is a huge stellum of energy. There's four planets within the Vedic sign of Pisces right now. So it's a time for you to let your mind wander, to become imaginative, and then especially on the full moon, that powerful full moon day, use your words to be clear on where you want to head in your life. So let's see what the tarot cards have to say about this full moon. Okay, wow, we have a really powerful tarot pull for this full moon. The first card that showed up is the Ten of Cups. 
So the Ten of Cups depicts a family celebrating under a rainbow of ten cups. The cup suit really symbolizes emotional fulfillment, and this family is celebrating. This really shows that there's a lot of opportunity for celebration within this full moon. The second card that showed up is Justice. And it's so amazing because justice is the natural card for the zodiac sign of Libra, which is where the full moon will be. Now, justice is all about fairness and being just with how things should be done. The third card that showed up is the emperor. And it's quite fascinating because whenever we have a full moon, the sun and the moon are in opposing zodiac signs. And on the emperor's throne are two ram's heads. The sun is in the Vedic sign of Aries, and that's symbolized by the ram. So the zodiac sign associated here is Aries. So the emperor is that divine masculine energy that likes things to be done in the right way. So this combination of cards shows that there's going to be an opportunity for a lot of fun, a lot of fulfillment, maybe even a bit of a celebration. But it's important that you keep your energy very balanced, you keep your focus very balanced, and then you really maintain a sense of clarity and understanding that the emperor is there as well. And the message of the emperor is to do things as they need to be done. So for this period of time, as I mentioned, it's perfect for you to let your mind wander, to go out and have fun, right? That would be one great way of opening your mind. Have some fun. Get out in nature. Celebrate this earth. Consider how you can create a little more balance in your life. This is Libra energy, and that energy of the justice card shows that balance and justice will be served. And as you keep that in mind, also remember that there are certain ways of doing things, practical ways that can be really supportive and really helpful. So know what you want. Say it out loud. Write it down. Be clear on the path you want to take. Remember, it's okay to receive support and stay connected with your loved ones and step forward into your life with a sense of joy. So if you'd like to keep yourself balanced during this full moon time, take a look at my yoga classes and meditations or schedule an astrology reading with me to see how this energy affects you personally.